Hey, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today I'm down on the California Delta fishing with my buddy Matt Leverage. We're throwing Senkos. Had a heck of a bite going this morning. Gone through a pile of Senkos. That got us talking a little bit about, <laughs> about Senko alternatives. Uh, you know, over the years, I think the majority of us have agreed that if you're going to be on a Senko bite, you throw a Senko brand, Senko. Uh, but you know, in the past few years, I've found a handful of other baits that really do work. And it didn't used to be that way. It used to be that you were throwing a Senko or you were catching less fish. Uh, in recent years, we found a handful of baits that in different applications are absolute fish catchers. I wanted to share three of those with you. Um, the first one, the Gambler, the Fat Ace. That one is about as close to a, a true Senko as you're gonna get, uh, but it has a garlic scent, uh, but very similar action, maybe even a little more action on the fall than a Senko. Uh, plus you get some scent. Uh, and they seem to hold up just a little bit longer, a little bit lower salt content. But that's a bait that, unlike most, really does hold its own and gets bit really well. Uh, the second one I throw a lot of, Jackal Flick Shake. Uh, that bait, where this one stands out for me, is not as a true Senko replacement, but that same style of bait. If I'm on a Senko bite, especially if they're in shallow water. The flick shake, a little bit smaller worm, definitely lighter, sinks at about half the speed of, the, of a similar size Senko. So the 5.8 flick shake compared to a six inch Senko, at least half the speed, maybe even a third of the speed. So a much slower fall rate and still tons of action, that's key. So when I find the fish up in the shallows, if they're in cover, uh, especially if they're being finicky, the bait is presented for a lot longer on the way down. Absolute fish catcher. The third is the Reaction Innovation Pocket Rocket. Uh, this bait, kind of a unique shape to this one. It's a ribbed bait, uh, much like a beaver or anything else. It sort of has that Reaction Innovation look to it. But as you see, much larger on both ends than it is in the middle. This bait crushes when you wacky rig. Uh, I generally don't Texas rig it. This one comes out if I really want a wacky rig because a, a bait with more weight out to the ends than in the middle is going to have a lot more action on the fall. Um, this one too crushes fish. Not necessarily baits that are saving you any money. You know, none of these are really cheap baits. The Gambler might save you a little bit. The others, it's kind of a wash, but they're different. And if you fish a Senko a lot, showing them something different goes a long way. Uh, so unlike that traditional belief that if you're on a Senko style bite or a weightless worm bite, that the Senko is best, a lot of times it is. We're throwing the Senko a lot today. Uh, but there are absolutely some alternative baits now the market has come a long ways. They've developed a lot of products. Those are three that I have a lot of confidence in that you can turn around, catch some more fish, catch some different fish, and just increase your game. So I hope that helps. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You'll find links to all these products in the video description uh, so you can find out directly where to get them. You don't even have to worry about tracking them down. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. First thing is going to be the square bill crankbait. The square bill is a, a compact bait, fits that general bluegill profile where it's a short, stumpy bait, pretty round. More importantly, it moves very quickly, very erratic, something that you feel too different. This may be a better day than I think. Like, it's starting to look pretty stacked. So, 
We're gonna run down Lake Cobb. I don't know how well you guys can see, but basically I've got a big point over on this side and an even larger point there on the left and then the dam down there in the background. And uh, I think I'm gonna focus around those first couple of big points, although I gotta admit this stuff is looking pretty darn good. But we're gonna start out down there. We're gonna focus on some of that stuff and see if we can find some fish on the little bit of structure that is